And big Democratic Party names gathering at the annual Essence Festival to shore up black voter support going into November. Vice President Kamala Harris headlining the event. ABC's Avery Harper has more from New Orleans. It's the largest celebration of African-American culture in the country, Essence Fest in New Orleans. Democratic leaders, including Vice President Kamala Harris, using this opportunity to deliver a clear message to black voters. In many of the states that are attacking a woman's right to choose, they're also attacking voting rights. The overturning of Roe versus Wade giving renewed energy to efforts aimed at turning out this key voting block in November. It was frightening because getting around that right means that eventually they're going to get around so many other rights. Black voters were vital to President Biden's 2020 win, and despite accomplishments like the swearing in of Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson to the Supreme Court, Democrats in New Orleans believe there is still more work to do. Voting is not magic. We don't get everything we want when we win elections. It is medicine, and we've got to keep taking it. In a survey of black voters, a Washington Post-Ipsos poll from May found what it called diminishing support for Biden, with 7 out of 10 approving of Biden's job performance. What are we going to do in terms of helping middle-class Americans afford to be able to survive in today's economy? Party leaders like former Biden White House advisor Cedric Richmond say Democrats have some convincing to do but need more time. We're going to continue to push for legislation. So that's why we're here, to answer those questions of what have you done for me lately? What have you done, period? Many Democrats, including Congresswoman Val Demings running for Senate in Florida, still confident that black voters will turn out en masse because so much is at stake. Let's expand the majority in the Senate so that we'll have the votes that we need to get rid of the filibuster or, as has been proposed, to do a special carve out for legislation that protects constitutional rights. Avery Harper, ABC News, New Orleans. Our thanks to Avery Harper for that report. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.